Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Street Race Talk, episode number 333. Things are finally taking a turn for the better. We're on summer break. I finished all my school stuff on Tuesday. Super happy about that. And next week, let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, it is supposed to be in the high 70s and 80s as of right now for all of next week. So we're going to be bringing Betsy out. Hopefully, finally, it'll just be, you know, nice out. Things are starting to look good. And do we have some good things to discuss in this week's episode of Street Race Talk as well? Starting off, I've got to apologize because I made a mistake in last week's episode of Street Race Talk. I myself was mistaken in saying that Chief and Jackie are only going to be at War in the Woods on Friday. They're only going to be racing at War in the Woods on Friday, but don't you worry, they'll be there both Friday and Saturday, and this is going to be a wild event. you got the Big Tire Class, which Big Chief is racing in on Friday, with 16 cars. The car, uh, the field's capped off at 16 cars, they've got it all full, and there's no more guys adding in. Although, for the Small Tire Class, you have, listen to this, a hundred in two cars this i mean it's insane some notable guys that are going to be there billy and tommy uh from the street racing channel are both going to be there ryan mitchell's going to be there callie nate's going to be there there were some other big name guys right off the top of my head i apologize i can't think of them but a hundred like a hundred and two cars and i was thinking about this and we were discussing this during this stream you would think that Okay, there's 102 cars. If you have, like, some slow-ass car, you don't have a chance at winning the thing. And, I mean, honestly, if anything, I think, you know, I want to ask you guys your opinion on this. Do you think the bigger the field is, the slower you car, car you have, the greater chance you have at winning? For instance, if it was a 16-car field, I show up with a slow car, I probably don't have a very good chance at winning. Although, because of the 102-car field, someone with a slower car could win because there's so many possibilities of what could happen. There's so many more rounds, so many more races, so many more instances where the fast guys could be... who Like, things could just simply go wrong for them. I hope that doesn't happen. But I was just it was just something I thought about and was thinking about when we were talking about it briefly during the stream. And I wanted to ask you guys in this episode of Stories Talk, so what do you your thoughts on that do you think if you have a sub tier car would you rather go to a smaller race or a bigger race because where do you think you have a better chance of winning i think it would be in the bigger race for instance 102 car field because there's just more chances for the other big fast guys to get knocked down by someone else what are your thoughts on that please leave it in the comment section down below although with the whole war in the woods or ordeal i'm seeing it's supposed to be raining the entire day friday i do have an update for you all and it is that war in the woods has unfortunately been rescheduled it is not going down today friday and tomorrow saturday it has been rescheduled to next saturday may 14th if i'm not mistaken and they're gonna start it at noon and run the entire race in that one day and i mean what can you say it is what it is it sucks it got rescheduled but at least the event's still happening it's just you know the crappy weather we've got here but i just can't wait to see how some people blame this oh those tv guys show up chief and jackie come to one race and look we can't even get the race off watch someone say something like that but yeah unfortunately the race has been rescheduled to next weekend thanks for watching sorry i had to add this in re real quick right here hope you enjoy the rest of the video this area sucks i'm in illinois like i was saying the weather is finally gonna be good next week but of course right when like the race we've been talking about the past two weeks is gonna happen the weather sucks raining it was 40 degrees and raining all week this week and we just jump up to 70 80 degrees it's supposed to be 87 on tuesday within a week we're jumping up on almost more than double the degrees it's like what the hell's going on over here they're off i know in indiana but still indiana illinois if you're talking weather same it's it's the same thing and it's just it's just miserable over here if you guys are thinking about coming here don't trust me go down head south it's probably warmer and you won't be getting your awesome races rained out like this one may unfortunately be this weekend i just wanted to mention that briefly because i mean according to the weather that's how it's going to be hopefully you know this racing gods will shine down on war in the woods and we won't have anything such as that and it'll be able to go off on friday and saturday that is all for the war in the woods talk this week i can't wait for next week when we're talking about the results of that but now let's transition on over into the main topic the main talking point for this week's episode of serious talk now this is like a discussion topic i've been sitting on for a little while now because i've been waiting to talk about this and I wanted to just get more ideas in regards 
to this whole situation and i've got a handful of ideas right now of possibilities we could see in the future and this topic right here is about whether or not we'll see more people leave street outlaws to pursue something such as youtube i'm not saying just straight up get up and leave street outlaws and be done with racing i'm saying leave racing on street outlaws to only make like youtube videos or their own content and you might think well this is coming from the big chief situation it's not the reason why i originally wanted to talk about this this scenario and have this discussion here is because tony angelo left motor trend to do his own thing on youtube now honestly this came as a shock to me there might be more behind it but from the stuff i've seen the stuff he's posted what i have been following along with tony angelo former host of hot rod garage and co-host of roadkill left motor trend and is only making his own content on youtube now in his post when he kind of announced he was leaving he's like i'll be doing all my stuff on youtube now which i thought was kind of weird because you think that he should build up the YouTube community, YouTube following, build up his channel, have a good established channel before he leaves something such as, I mean, he was on Roadkill, one of the hosts of Roadkill. Before he leaves something such as that to go do YouTube, you would think he'd build up the YouTube more. I mean, he's done the YouTube a little bit there, but like, I'm trying to, you could compare it to Mike Finnegan's YouTube channel, where if he left Roadkill and just did YouTube, you'd be like, okay, it makes sense. He's got 800,000 subscribers, a huge channel, very successful and big following on his YouTube channel. He's definitely got a sufficient a place to just do all this stuff and i'm not trying to talk down and stuff tony angelo is doing but i just found it weird and i mean like it appears that he left motor trend just to do youtube and that's the reasoning for that he just wanted to do the youtube stuff and do his own thing and then shortly after we see the whole big chief situation now yes he didn't initially leave street outlaws because he's like oh i'm just gonna go make youtube videos then chief and jackie didn't make that decision they left street outlaws for other reasons but i believe the reason why they won't return to street outlaws is because of how much they like doing the YouTube stuff, how much they like creating their own content and doing their own thing. There is, I believe there's another reason as to why we're not going to be seeing a return to Street Outlaws. We've discussed it multiple times before in these videos, that reason, not in relation to that topic though, but I was thinking we'll probably save that for a different video. TBD, ladies and gentlemen, we'll discuss that some more at a later date. But I think one of the main, main reasons why we're not seeing them go back to Street Outlaws is because they enjoy doing the YouTube stuff so much. And I wonder if we'll see others follow. The first instance we actually heard of someone potentially doing this was Sean. In a 187 Customs video, I, I'm trying to think back to when this was i want to say beginning of last summer I, it might have been a little before that i want to say the beginning of last summer is when sean said in a video is at the end of one of his videos if he had to make the choice between youtube and street outlaws at that current time again this was almost over let's say at least a year ago as we currently sit right now sean said in one of his videos at that current time if he had to pick between youtube and street outlaws he's leaning towards the side of youtube now i i want to say that has changed now seeing how his essentially role in street outlaws has changed he's the race master of america's list now i assume he will be for the next season as well unless they bring in someone like boosted to do that if sean didn't like doing it that much that's just some that's a different topic we could discuss but you guys know what i mean his roles kind of changed in the street stuff in street outlaws with big chief being gone and also too we're seeing him with the new mer the OG murder number with all the changes they've done to it being very competitive now on the streets and doing that stuff then we see them with no prep kings going all in even more trying to not only race the whole season but be competitive and trying to be at the top of the leaderboard hopefully see them win a race this year I just feel like that's not like the and you might be thinking we're kind of overreacting because of that I like I think the fact that he mentioned that in the video alone is huge and speaks volumes although seeing his status right now with Street Outlaws and with YouTube I don't think they're going to be seeing him leave Street Outlaws anytime soon because another thing is too that they made a big point of making in their videos is to not have the YouTube stuff be all about Street Outlaws you know what I mean like my videos were Street Rest Talk we talk about Street Outlaws all the time with the streams we sit here and watch Street Outlaws they don't want their he doesn't want their stuff to be as that closely intertwined as kind of we have it with some of the stuff we have here he wants to be very separate kind of like how i have the betsy videos the betsy videos aren't anything street outlaws related at all and yet we still talk about street outlaws and other stuff i think that's the similar situation to as how they want to do it right now but again the fact that he brought it up alone it makes me think like well i was i would assume other guys have had that same thought i wonder if other people have thought the same thing and i was thinking about this literally on my way to the gym today I was thinking that 
maybe that won't even be a thing anymore. Maybe we won't ever have to see people make a choice between $3 or YouTube because it, it literally seems almost as if the producers or people behind $3 are encouraging the drivers to post more and be more active on social media. If that wasn't the case, yes, I would assume many guys would have to make that choice one day although because of the fact that it lit like this might not be true at all i don't know if it is or isn't but there's no question that there was a switch flipped all of a sudden everyone was posting all kinds of stuff on social media while for years before almost like i want to say six to eight years before we got pretty much absolutely nothing there was a huge change no in a very short amount of time there's no question about that and i wonder if more guys you know dabbling into youtube more seeing like oh we do our own thing post this and that do our own stuff but then the question comes up as well as like who even has the who has the ability to go out and do their own thing obviously chief and jackie they're doing their own thing right now i would believe 187 customs sean and phantom they've got the stuff to do their go out and do their own thing kai kelly another guy could go out and do his own thing ryan martin a guy that could go out and do his own thing but how many others are in that same situation how many others don't need street outlaws for them for their brand for what they do that's another good question i want to bring up and ask you guys as well how many guys do you think fit in that situation and also to kind of to wrap this conversation up do you think we'll see anyone else end up leaving something i mean it, we're talking about street outlaws here and this stemmed from a motor trend motor trend discussion but what are your thoughts on it? do you think more guys will end up backing away leaving like the pro legit production stuff to go out and pursue their own things such as youtube you look at guys such as cletus mcfarland the success he has had on youtube it just leaves people to be like why can't why shouldn't i go do that myself i wonder if we'll see more stuff like that in the future we saw someone like eric bain step down from no prep kings because he just simply like he said didn't feel it was necessary or he couldn't really i i might piece uh fallen a little off here on exactly what he said i don't want to say he couldn't compete or something like that but you guys know what i mean he's made the decision to step down and leave no prep kings when he was someone that ran in the full season last season until his car unfortunately wrecked i wonder if we'll see more people step down and go out and pursue their own thing sometime in the future and that is all for this week's episode of serious talk ladies and gentlemen i thank you guys all so very much for watching ttve i've been waiting to do this video for so long now i think it's almost been two months we've been sitting on this discussion i've been waiting and waiting to do it and i felt this was a perfect week to do it i felt this was i felt this video went really good and i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you like i said for watching so very much to to the very end T T V E. make sure you guys click that little bell turn the notifications on so you do not miss a single video that upload all of my videos upload live at 6 p.m central standard time make sure you tune in on monday night at 6 50 p.m central standard time where we will be going live here on my channel watching the new episode of street outlaws america's list make sure you leave your thoughts and opinions in the comment section i'll ask you guys a lot of questions this week do you think we'll be seeing other drivers step away from something such as three dollars to pursue their own thing on a platform such as youtube that's the main question i want you guys to leave your thoughts on that in the comment section down below make sure you check out midweststreetcars.com and use coupon code cmsxyz for 20 percent off your order first link down in the description will take you directly to their store and i've also got some street race talk merch up ladies and gentlemen you'll probably see it right at the bottom of this video or also too on my channel go to the you got the tabs at the top there's like home video playlist community there's a store one as well ladies and gentlemen the directly on the YouTube channel, so make sure you check that out if you're interested in some of the Sweet Street Race Talk merch, and we've got Betsy merch on there as well, so be sure to check that out as well. I also set up a P.O. box, so if you guys would like to send me stuff, address is down below in the description, but like I said, that is all. Thank you so very much for watching TTVE. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys had a great week this weekend. We're looking forward to a great weekend this weekend, and I honestly can't thank you guys enough for watching TTVE. Make sure you follow me on Instagram at SamsXYZ. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and this is Sim ABC XYZ signing out.